Hey everyone, it's Yasil here. This is a quick review of the Blitzwolf BW KB1 mechanical keyboard. So I'm a software developer and I've used mechanical keyboards for quite a while now. I've owned this one in particular for about two and a half years now. And I ideally drove this for just over a year. Uh, so I, I figured let's dig into some of the features, some of the things I liked about it, some of the, uh, the quirks, um, and uh, some of the capabilities of this little keyboard. This keyboard comes with brown Gateron switches. Um, they're pretty comfortable, they're not as loud as uh, blue switches. Um, we can dig into a, a, sound, uh, a sound test later on, but uh, I enjoy these switches quite a bit. Um, very smooth, they, are, they do feel a bit different compared to your Cherry MX switches. Um, they come with ABS keycaps. Uh, which held up pretty well for considering I've used this for well over a year. One of the interesting things I really enjoyed about this keyboard was the onboard RGB controls. So you don't have to have any you know, specific software, worry about operating systems. Um, you can control things like the, uh, the brightness of the LEDs itself. Um, once you get to the maximum brightness, it'll start blinking or the minimum. Uh, so you can change the modes using Function, the function key and um, the backslash key. So there's various, various control, various uh, different RGB patterns. Set of colors, and I usually end up using the, uh, the pretty colorful one. Um, it does. You can use this with Bluetooth or a wire connection via Type C port. Uh, which I found very, very useful. Um, switching between different laptops, uh, different computers, you can have one plugged in or you could switch via Bluetooth. So you have different profiles. You could use uh, up to four, uh, sorry, up to five different profiles. And um, to switch between them, you just have to press function uh, and the relative or the respective BT profile. So BT1, BT2, um, and to pair with a new device, you just hold function down and whatever profile you want to program it to. And once that button starts flashing, then you can you, you, enter, you enter pairing mode and you can pair the, the mechanical keyboard with a new device. Um, to switch between your wired mode and wireless mode is you press function and tab. And um, yeah, the layout is very comfortable. It's nice and compact. Uh, it gives you much more space for your mouse um, instead of the full uh, keyboard uh, layout and the full size. Um, the, the interesting thing that I found was the, um, the question mark key is on all the way on the right hand side. Usually uh, it's, I'm used to having the uh, question mark uh, just next to the uh, full stop uh, button. But uh, I believe, yeah, this is one of the, the, the differences between a traditional uh, layout, which I found it can be but pretty, uh, it can take, take a while to get used to, uh, especially if you're used to that, but it, uh, used to the different placement of the question mark, but it wasn't too bad after a while. Uh, it, is, it is a 63 layout, 63 key layout, um, but it does have dedicated arrow keys. So for me, this was huge, uh, you know, jumping around code, uh, you know, having dedicated uh, arrows keys was was fantastic instead of doing any weird commands like you know on other keyboards you have to hit function control shift something um, so that was really useful you don't you do lose the ability to have dedicated function keys uh, which um, which is one of the uh, differences in this keyboard from a traditional uh, full 108 key layout um, but you can use them via the function key if you press function and f1 you can see that the um, the different function numbers are printed on the side of the keycaps. And um, yeah, let's let's jump to a sound test of these uh, Gateron Brown uh, mechanical switches. Hey, okay, let's start the sound test and uh, this is what the, the Gateron Brown switches sound like.
Hey, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, any suggestions, please leave it. Leave uh, your suggestions in the comments. Uh, I'll have all the necessary links in the description box below. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.